Yo, what's up? Dr. Soul here, MD Bodybuilder, back with another video. Today I'm going to be giving you a science-based three-day full body program designed for hypertrophy and strength. The full body setup works really well for three days per week, and it's a great way to start for beginners or early intermediates. This program is primarily designed for beginners, but will also work for some intermediate athletes, and is programmed for power building. That is, you can build strength and hypertrophy at the same time. I've always talked about how my programs allow for bringing in some beginner strength type programming in a plug and play fashion. And today I'm going to be showing you an example of just that. We'll be using a modified version of the Grayskull Linear Program in this setup. All right, quick outline for today. We're gonna to start off by giving you the full program walkthrough where I explain everything you'll need to run this program, including exercises, sets, and reps. Then we'll move on to talk about the weekly setup, that is how to space out your days throughout the week. Then I'll explain my modified version of the Grayskull program and how to progress. And lastly, we'll talk about the pros and cons of this program. If you're watching my content, make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe. It really helps to support the channel. I could be charging for these programs, but I really wanna help you guys out. Let's get into it. Now, a quick word about power building. As a beginner, that is someone in their first one to two years of serious training, a power building approach where you emphasize both strength and hypertrophy training can actually work really well. And that is because beginners are so sensitive to the training stimulus that they can almost maximize their strength and hypertrophy gains simultaneously. Even from a pure hypertrophy standpoint, I think this is a really good way to start off because lifting heavy really forces you to progressively overload. And when you lift heavier weights, you're developing more mechanical tension, which is the main driver of hypertrophy. All right, let's do our program walkthrough. This is my three day full body power building program designed for beginners and early intermediates. And that is, it's a low volume program. We've got three full body days throughout the week, day one, day two, and day three. Here are the exercises and here are the sets and reps. And down here we have the total number of sets per workout so you have an idea of workout length. Down at the bottom we have our muscle group weekly set volumes. That is the total number of sets across the week for quads, glutes and hamstrings, chest, back, side delts, biceps, triceps and calves. And you'll see immediately that this is a low volume program. In this program, I'm using a modified version of the Grayskull Linear Progression. And you'll see that reflected in the first two exercises of each workout. Basically, you're benching and squatting twice a week, and you have overhead press and deadlifts in once per week. Starting off with day one, we've got bench press for the chest, three sets of five, five, and five plus. And the five plus is basically an AMRAP set, which stands for as many reps as possible. And this is a really easy way to include auto-regulation in your programming. After that, we have squats for the quads, three sets of five, five, and five plus. Then we have lunges, which I count for both quads and glutes and hamstrings here, so use a medium stance, three sets of eight to 12. After that, we have T-bar rows for the back, four sets of eight to 12. Then we have a super set of arm work, so rope hammer curls for the biceps, three sets of eight to 12, and a rope press downs for the triceps, three sets of eight to 12. After that, we have dumbbell lateral raises for the side delts, four sets of eight to 12. And lastly, machine calf raises for the calves, three sets of eight to 12. Moving on to day two, we start off with barbell overhead press, three sets of five, five, and five plus. Then we have the deadlift for the glutes and hamstrings, three sets of five, five, and five plus. After that, we have leg presses for the quads, three sets of eight to 12. And then we move on to close grip bench press, which I count for both triceps and chest, three sets of six to 10. After that, we have weighted pull-ups for the back, four sets of six to 10. And if you're a beginner and you can't do pull-ups, I'd recommend starting off with an easier assisted version, like with the assisted pull-up machine or with bands to help you out. After that, we have easy bar curls for the biceps, three sets of eight to 12, and then barbell upright row for side delts, four sets of eight to 12. After that, we have standing calf raises, three sets of eight to 12. On day three, we start off with a bench press again for the chest, three sets of five, five, and five plus. And then we have squats again for the quads, three sets of five, five, and five plus. There is a lot of repetition in this program, which I think works really well for beginners because you get lots of practice with your bench press and squat. It also gives you more opportunities to add in weight, which works really well if you are sensitive to the training stimulus and you're actually able to add weight with every session. You may get to a point where you're not adding weight every session, but instead adding weight every other session. And in that case, you'll want to aim to at least match or beat your last day's reps. Moving on, we have Romanian deadlifts for the glutes and hamstrings, three sets of six to 10. After that, we have cable rows for the back, four sets of 10 to 15. Then we have line curls for the biceps, three sets of eight to 12. And this is where you lie flat on your back on the bench. Then we have easy bar skull crushers for the triceps, three sets of eight to 12. And then we have dumbbell lateral raises again for the side delts, four sets of 10 to 15. And we finish off with machine calf raises, 
three sets of 10 to 15. This setup works really well for three days per week where you have a good proportion of bench pressing and squatting to overhead pressing and deadlifting. Having deadlifts and overhead press on this separate day also allows you to prioritize them instead of lumping them together on the same workout as squats and bench press. All right, now that we've gone through the program, let's touch on how to set this up throughout the week. I recommend that when you run a full body type approach, you try to split up your days as evenly as possible throughout the week. And the idea here is that you want to maximize the amount of rest you get in between workouts so you can perform as well as possible on each session. So we're going to do day one, rest, day two, rest, day three, and then rest, rest. And I deliberately set this up this way so that you get the maximum amount of recovery between your bench and squat sessions. Ultimately, you're wanting to optimize fatigue distribution. That is, you want to spread out your stress as evenly as possible throughout the week. Okay, now let's talk about how to implement the modified Grayscale program. Basically what I did is I took the original Grayscale program and I fixed the bench press and overhead press so that you're benching twice a week and overhead pressing once per week. And I did this because you're gonna benefit from more benching. The bench press is a more important lift from a strength perspective and from a hypertrophy perspective, you're going to get more bang for your buck out of a horizontal press. The other thing is that I added more deadlifts in. And this is largely to give you more volume for that hypertrophy benefit. Now let's talk about progression. The Grayscale linear progression follows a very simple scheme. You're supposed to take the squat and deadlift and add five pounds per session. And for the bench press and overhead press, you're supposed to add 2.5 pounds per session. And when we talk about 2.5 pounds, you are supposed to get 1.25 pound plates. If you don't have 1.25 pound plates, you can always just add in five pounds every other session. Keep in mind that these progression schemes don't have to be fixed in stone. As your progress slows down, as you become more advanced, you may not be able to add in this much weight every workout. You can always slow down the rate of progress and say add in weight every week. Okay, now let's talk about the Grayscale Reset, which I think is a really interesting feature of this program. Eventually, you're gonna reach a point where you stall and you can't complete three sets of five anymore. What you do is very simple. You take 10% of the weight off the bar and then continue. This is a really simple but elegant way of building in some periodization because you'll drop the weight, but by virtue of having that AMRAP set in there, you're still gonna get a great workout and you'll just perform more reps. Eventually you'll get fewer and fewer reps as you add in more weight and eventually you'll stall again, but hopefully this time at a higher level. I also like how this works because it builds in some periodization of higher and lower rep training. Whenever you reset, you go to higher reps and eventually you'll come back to heavier weights and lower reps. Okay, now let's talk about the pros and cons of this program. First of all, I really like the auto-regulation that you get with the AMRAP sets from Grayskull. Auto-regulation basically means that you're adjusting your performance to how well you're doing that day. And by having that flexibility of that last set where you just do as many reps as possible, you'll be able to get more reps on your fresh days and it will also accommodate the days when you're not feeling so hot. This also works really well when you bring in the Grayskull Reset, where you can basically program without thinking too much and still know that you're going to get a lot out of every workout. Next, this program is nice because it makes sure that you hit your main upper body lift when you're fresh at the beginning of the workout. You'll see that often I'll start off with my big lower body lift and have upper body stuff come after. The problem with this is that if you're really fatigued after say heavy deadlifts, you may not perform as well on upper body lifts after that. And if there is an important upper body lift like the bench press that you want to prioritize, then it might be good to put that first. Benching won't affect your lower body work nearly as much. We've already touched on this, but the full body three day setup is really good for fatigue distribution. That is, if you're gonna be training three days per week, full body is probably the evenest way to spread out your training stress. And I think this is good because it helps you to get the most out of every workout. Lastly, this type of power building setup works really well to build strength and hypertrophy for beginners. I'll note that as you become more advanced, you're gonna to want to use more advanced styles of periodization. So eventually you will need to choose between the two for your main priority. But for someone starting out in the gym, I think this will work really well. Okay, now let's talk about the cons of this program. First of all, with the full body setup, you tend to have long workouts. That is, you spend a lot of time warming up each muscle group before you train it. This, however, isn't that big of an issue for beginners. The reality is, when you start out, you just don't lift as much weight. It won't take as long to warm up to, say, a 185-pound squat versus a 315 squat. Next, with the full body split, you tend to get smaller pumps. And that's just because you're not doing as much work for each specific muscle group in one day. Lastly, this program is designed for beginners and the stimulus to fatigue ratio is not ideal for more advanced athletes. Having loss of strength oriented work like sets of fives will work for beginners in terms of strength and hypertrophy, but for more advanced athletes, you'll generate a lot of fatigue for the amount of stimulus that you get out of every set. When you're a beginner, you just don't lift that much, so you won't have the same amount of stress on your connective tissues as an advanced athlete would if they were say squatting and benching twice per week with heavy sets of five. 
but if it works for you, that's great. Now, I will be sharing the entire program as laid out in my Facebook group. There will be a link to my Facebook group in the description, so join it and you can download the Excel file for free. If you want to take your knowledge to the next level, check out my affiliate link for Mass in the description below. Mass or Monthly Applications in Strength Sport is an elite research review done by some of the best sports scientists who talk about all of the latest research in hypertrophy and strength every month. This is probably one of the best ways to take your knowledge and gains to the next level. If you want to see more full programs like this, make sure you leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.